It's hard to find a kid who hasn't played a video game. It used to be that kids wanted a toy for Christmas, but now all they want is a PS4 or an iPhone. Kids are spending less time in the real world socializing and instead spending way too much time indoors and staring at a screen. To put this into perspective, the video game industry has garnered over $10.8 billion since the 1980s, which is even more than the film industry. Research shows that 72% of American households play video games, with an average of 20 hours a week. Furthermore, the online world of video games can be a dangerous place, especially for younger children. There's always a danger of predators, bullies, and even hackers. People are willing to say anything while hiding behind a screen, so it's important for parents to monitor their young children to prevent scammers and harassment. The excess amount of screen time can lead to a lack of social skills needed in real-world situations like job interviews and school. Some say hardcore gaming is a waste of time because you could be working towards a real-life goal. Not to mention, sitting in the dark staring at a bright screen for hours on end can be extremely unhealthy. The lack of exercise can lead to long-term mental and physical health problems. However, video games do have beneficial effects. In moderation, video games can be a healthy outlet for stress and a temporary escape for a fun time with friends. But we must stress that video games in moderation and video game addiction are two very separate things. To live a healthy life with video games, play in moderation and practice safe gaming, which includes internet restrictions for younger children, supervised gaming, private profiles, age appropriate games, and limited screen time as a whole.